let you think your friendship wasn't enough. You gave me back so many things I thought had slipped away for good. A trust in life stronger than the fear of dying. A sense of wonder at what is and might be. The sweetness of lying with a lover in the dark while the words tumble out, saying nothing and everything. We had our time and place. I was greedy and ungrateful not to know it had to pass. Now listen, you just go upstairs, and I'm gonna uh, clean this stuff up. Really? Will you come up and say yes, goodnight? Yes, in a little while. Yes. Go, scoot. Go, All go. All right. What happened? Did you break something? A cup and saucer. Part of an old set of Burt's. Not too much left of it now. I love old china, you know, it's so graceful. Of course, the problem is when you break it, it's a headache trying to find the same pattern. Sometimes it's not worth trying to save. I have to go upstairs. Michelle needs me. Uh, is there something you wanted? No, no. It, it's obviously a bad time. I'll come back some other time. Another time might be worse. Well, um, I had lost a scarf here over the holidays, a plain wool one, and um, I thought I'd stop by on my way home to see if, if, if you'd found it. I didn't come across any scarf. It's plain and red. Red? Nope. Well, I probably left it somewhere else. I'll... You probably did. If I come across it, I'll let you know. Excuse me. Wait. I did come across something that I think belongs to you.
I knew you loved him. I think I even knew before you did. And do you want to hear something really nuts? I thought it was sweet. Because never, never in 10 million years did I think you would do anything about it or that he would either. Maureen, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing I can say when I stand here now and I look back and I think of you. Don't I insult either one of us by saying to me that you ever gave me one thought. Please, just understand I was crazy then, Maureen. I, I thought that I was probably going to die from the cancer. I'm not trying to make an excuse to then you. don't. There's one thing you have to know. You have to know that it's over. No, you have to know that it never really ever began. What? 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 Never really began? You slept with my husband! You were my friend. The both of you lying, carrying on, using the friendship as an excuse. God, it is so ordinary. You have reduced us to a ridiculous suburban joke, and I will never forgive you for this. Once, Maureen, it was one time, that's all. Believe me, Ed was, he was, he, it, it was me. I was the one who pushed you out of my house.